Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. In today's in this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your PC in order to get better FPS, lower input delay, and fixing the lag and FPS drops in Counter Strike 2 or CS2 on your any PC or laptop. So, guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into over this video. Gear Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connections. So guys, get the paid program free from the link in the description and play your game with lower ping. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to disable the power throttling on our PC that is causing the low GP usage and limiting our PC resources. So guys, for that, you need to press Windows R together from your keyboard and you will find out here this kind of the run window dialog. Now you need to go for gbedit.msc, simply type here this command and press enter. Now you will find out here local group policy editor window, go for computer configuration, administrative template, system folder. Now you need to scroll down and find that power management folder, go inside it. Now here you will find our power throttling settings, open up this folder and here you will find out turn off power throttling. So double tap and open up this folder. Now here you will find that turn off power throttling, you need to enable the settings turning off the power throttling on your pc if you enable this policy setting power throttling will be turned off so guys therefore you need to enable the settings after that hit apply click ok and close out this window now the next step we are going to optimize our windows max pre-render frame from our registry settings so for that you need to go for your window search search for registry editor and open up registry editor on your windows now the very first step you need to go for hk local machine folder click on the drop down now find out here software now you need to scroll all the way down and there you will find out woo 6432 node so guys go for this folder and click on the drop down now scroll down and find out here microsoft folder now click again on the drop down now here you will find out direct 3d so go for this folder inside you will find out here max pre-render frame if it is not available in this folder simply right click here go for new go for the word 32 bit value and guys name the same like max pre-render frame once you create here this profile now go for modify option set the value data onto the one and set the base on hexadecimal and say then now hit ok and close out your registry editor now the next step we are going to optimize our cs2 directory setting so for that simply open up steam so guys search for steam open up steam on your pc now here is the counter strike 2 so right click here go for manage and open up browse local file of your cs2 and now you need to go for game folder go for bin win64 and here you will find out your launcher file of the cs2 simply right click here go for the properties of this file now go for compatibility now check mark on disable full screen optimization go for change high dpa settings and also check mark on override high dpa scaling behavior hit ok hit apply click ok and save the settings in your cs2 now here in the next step we are going to optimize our cs2 in-game settings so for that launch the cs2 on your pc after that go for this gear or setting menu now here you will find that your video setting this is just the basic settings there is no impact on the performance you can simply go into the display mode and make sure to set it on full screen and click on the apply changes this will help you to getting the lowest input delay while you're playing cs2 so guys now you need to go for advanced video settings and here is the important setting for your pc now here you will find that boost contrast player make sure to turn on the settings wait for vertical thing disable the settings now here you will find out this current video preset so we are going to do it manually so guys you need to go for this option simply set it on low to medium according to your pc once you set this value onto the low this will automatically set all the settings onto the lowest possible according to your pc now let's go for further settings like multi sampling anti living simply make sure to turn off the settings global shadow quality set it on low model texture quality set it on low texture filtering mode set it on bilinear now go for shadow detail set it on low particle quality guys i suggest you to go for medium ambition occlusion disable the settings high dynamic range set it on performance then here the fidelity fx super fidelity fx super resolution set it on balanced now here is the nvidia reflex low latency that will help you to getting the lowest input delay while you're playing cs2 so make sure to enable the settings once you enable these settings in your cs2 now you need to go for home tab and now go for this quit to desktop and quit it on your pc now here in the last step we are going to optimize our nvidia gpu settings so for that right click on your desktop go for show more option and open up your nvidia control panel 
Then the very first step, it's important to update your driver on the latest version. So guys, simply download and install the NVIDIA driver on your PC. So here, open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Simply go for your Windows Search. Search for NVIDIA Control Panel and you will find out here this application. On the very first step, go for 3D settings and there you will find out Adjust Image Settings with Preview. So go for this option and set it on Use the Advanced 3D Settings. Now click on the Take Me there and this will open up Manage 3D Settings. Now here is all the important settings of the NVIDIA GPU for the CS2 or all the other games. So image scaling, turn it off, ambition occlusion, turn it off, anti-stropic filtering, application control, anti-living FX AA, turn it off, gamma correction, turn it on, anti-using mode, application control, transparency, turn it off, background apps, turn it off, CUDA GPU, set it on all, then CUDA system fallback policy, set it on driver default, DSR factor, turn it off. Low latency mode, go for this option and set it on ultra for having the low latency out of your mouse and keyboard. Now max frame, turn it off. Monitor technology, set it on G-Sync or V-Sync compatible. Multi-frame sample, double A, turn it off. OpenGL GDA compatibility, set it on auto. OpenGL rendering GPU, go for this option and select out here your GPU model. Now scroll down, go for power management mode. Go for this option and set it on prep for maximum performance out of your GPU. Shadow cache, go for it and select the highest number available in this list. So go for 100 GB that is available in this list. Now you need to go for important settings that texture filtering quality. So go for it, set it on high performance. Then you will find out here thread optimization. Go for it and turn on the settings. Once you apply all the settings in your NVIDIA GPU, now click on the apply button and apply these changes in your NVIDIA control panel. Now here is some important color setting you can also follow. So go for adjust desktop color settings. Now simply scroll down, go for digital vibrance and set it on 60 to 70 percent. That will provide you the best color in CS2. So guys, once you apply all the settings, now close out your NVIDIA control panel. Now you need to one time restart your PC there for all the changes to take effect. After that, launch your CS2 and enjoy the best performance out of your PC. I hope you love it. Please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and see you again in the next video.